Lon is pre-calculus students, Mr. Grisato, and we're going to take a look at number five. We want to validate that those two functions are inverses or uh, prove that they are not inverse functions. There's a couple of ways we can do that. We could actually find the inverse function of f and see if it matches up with g or vice versa. But since we just did that a couple times, um, I'm going to prefer that we find g of f of x and check that that's equal to x and f of g of x, see if that's equal to x. So I'm going to put a little question mark up there. So this is what we're going to check um, to see if the, these are true. All right, so let's go through some algebra. So f of g of x is equal to f of 3x plus 2 over x minus 1. And now I'm going to take this function here and plug it every place I see an x in the function f. So then it's going to become 3x plus 2 over x minus 1 plus 2 divide by 3x plus 2 over x minus 1 minus 3. And here I'm going to multiply by x minus 1 over x minus 1. And when I distribute, I get 3x plus 2 plus 2 times x minus 1 divide by 3x plus 2 minus 3 times x minus 1. Uh, simplifying, 3x plus 2, oops, let me fix that, uh, 3x plus 2 plus 2x minus 2 divide by 3x plus 2 minus 3x plus 3. Doing a little bit of algebra, I get 5x over 5, which is equal to x. So what I just validated here is that f of g of x is actually equal to x. I'm going to leave it as an exercise for you to validate that g of f of x is equal to x. And it will be true. Therefore, f and g are inverse functions of each other. The technical definition is that you do need to check both the yellow here and the green.